if this happened to your master pyramid, then you probably corner cut it in a way that your cube didn't really want you to. So, that means you've officially popped your master pyramid and you officially need this video. So, as you'd probably, as you've probably inferred already, this video is how to fix a pop on a master pyramid. And I'm not going to go demolishing this. So, this is just how to fix the last piece. And we all know that the last piece is the hardest piece to assemble. So, here's how to do it. So, the first step is that when you're, if, you, pyraminx, if your master pyraminx is popped more ferociously than this, you're going to have to make it so that there's one edge piece left to assemble. Not one of these big ones called center edges. Not one of these. One of these smaller edge pieces that are close to a tip. So you're going to want to make it so that there's only one of these pieces left, kind of bordering the center edge piece. And I've tried shoving it in. It's very, you have to be very delicate and time consuming. And before I go on explaining how to do it, I'm going to say that you're going to have to be very gentle with your master pyramids when you're doing this. And also, if you don't have a screwdriver, you can't use this method. So the first step in fixing a pop on a master pyramid is to turn a tip 45 degrees. Well, no, not 45 degrees, but whatever. Turn a tip halfway, like that. So, halfway. Then you're going to kind of dig your nail under the tip. You're going to disassemble the tip, so you're going to pop out a tip piece. So basically all I did is just I dug my nail into that little crack and popped out a tip piece. And then what we can do is just pull apart this tip piece off and then this. So now we have three tip pieces and we'll put those to the side. And then we have this kind of naked tip. And what we can do now is take our screwdriver with a Phillips head in it or whatever head whatever you need for your screw, and we're just going to loosen the screw until it kind of sticks out out of the cube. Okay, now as you can see the screw is kind of sticking out, and at this point we're going to try and maybe loosen it a little bit more and make sure you get the spring with the screw. We're just going to take this out of the cube. Now you have a screw and a spring, and we're going to put that aside for the tip pieces. Here comes the part you have to be really delicate with. We are going to take this whole part here and lift it up off of the cube, put this under it like that, and then put it back in. So, just to repeat that, because that was kind of a weird step. So we took out the screw and the spring, now we lift up this part, like that. Then we take this pops piece and put it under like this. And then put the whole thing back. And there you go. Now this is assembled, but of course, it's very unsturdy. So what we have to do is take our screw and spring and put the spring on the screw, like that and then put it in the hole and just kind of feel around until you get it back where it was, get it as low as possible. Then take your screwdriver and tighten the screw. There you go. Now the layer's tightened. And then you can take your tip pieces and as you can see there's a little ridge here. You kind of barely see that. And then you can put it into this little hole There you go. It's a little bit wobbly, but that's fine. Then you take this, same thing, ridge goes in the hole. Like that. And then lastly, you got this piece, ridge in the hole. There you go. Your master pyraminx is totally assembled. I hope you found this video helpful because if your master pyraminx broke, that's how to fix it. And I'll see you next time from Rutux Cubing.